Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam ama ba'd Ayol ahabba, ayol ahbab Continuing on in our series from Shaykh al-Islam ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullah ta'ala we reach the sixth characteristic that we all possess and that we should try to keep within the bounds of the Sharia. And so, Ayyul Ahbab, I'll mention these two, two characteristics very briefly. So we'll talk about the sixth and the seventh. Qala Shaykh al-Islam ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullah ta'ala, he said the sixth is Juhud. Or uh, Jude. Uh, uh, and this is generosity. And he says, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, that generosity has its limit, which is between two ends or two extremes. And whenever it exceeds its limit, it becomes wastefulness and extravagance. And whenever it falls short of this limit, it becomes stinginess and miserliness. Ayyul Ahbab, as we know, all throughout the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala praises the mutasaddiqeen, wa mutasaddiqat, the, 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 the male and female people who spend in charity. That they're people who spend their wealth. And charity, ayyul Ahbab, it extinguishes the sins. It's one way we can get some of our sins forgiven by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So it's encouraged all throughout the throughout Islam, throughout the the text the text throughout from the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu and according to the methodology of the Salaf of this Ummah, this was their madhab. This is what they did. So that's that's not a mystery. And being one of the pillars of Islam, zakat, showing us the importance of spending our wealth and not hoarding wealth, and that wealth should circulate throughout the community. As Shaykh al-Islam said, he said, so it has its limit, its limit though, that this, this generosity, the characteristic of generosity in general, it has limitations, meaning that a person should not be extravagant. As we mentioned, so, so where they are wasteful with their wealth, spending it, just throwing money over here, throwing money over there, thinking that's generosity. You go give the highest tip to someone at a restaurant. There's nothing wrong with that uh, doing in good, especially if you have the means. But just not being extravagant, not being wasteful with your wealth when you could have spent it on something much better or there were people who are in much greater need that you could have helped. So it's imperative that we're, we stay within the bounds when it comes, if Allah has favored us, with wealth in order to be generous within the bounds. And Ayyul Ahbab, on the other end of the, the spectrum, is when a person has wealth and they become miserly and stingy. And may Allah forgive us all of our shortcomings for not spending as we should. Perhaps not spending and giving the rights to our family. Many of us have children and wives and, and responsibilities. And perhaps we're not doing our responsibilities. We know too many cases of brothers who do not who are on this extreme of the, the spectrum, where they don't spend on their family, the, the ones who have rights over them, who Allah has said that, that they have rights over them. And this ayyul ahbab is also sinful and shameful when you don't give your family, your children, their rights. You don't give your wife her rights to be spent upon. She requires sustenance. And this is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Ar-Rijal Qawimun ala nisa that the men are the maintainers and protectors of the women. Allah has put that responsibility upon us as men. That we have to take care of our responsibilities. Ayyul Ahbab, both of those extremes are sinful. That we should not be extravagant and wasting our wealth. And we should not be of those people who do not spend on our family and children and those people who have rights over us. And if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala favors you with wealth, make sure that you give everyone 
their right. And may Allah forgive us of our shortcomings and bless us to be of those who give the people their rights. The seventh characteristic, Ayyul Ahbab, that Shaykh al-Islam mentioned, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, he said, Ash-Shaja'ah. Ash-Shaja'ah, Ayyul Ahbab, courageousness, having courage. And he mentioned, he says, courageousness has its limit. And whenever it exceeds that limit, it becomes impetuousness. And whenever it falls short of this limit, it becomes cowardice and weakness. Its limit is to be bold and daring when it is appropriate to be bold and daring and to be forbearing when it is appropriate to be forbearing. So Ayal Ahbab, Shaja, or bravery, is also something that is a beneficial characteristic to possess in Islam within the bounds of the Sharia. And this means, Ayyul Ahbab, for example, the man taking care of his, his family. And if a harm or a threat comes, that he puts himself forth to de deflect that harm from his family. So this requires a type of bravery, bravery, that the man cannot go cowering and run and leave his wife prey to harm and danger or his children. Well, rather, he needs to be in the forefront in protecting them and providing for them. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us of our shortcomings. Ameen, ya Rabbil Alameen. Ayyul Ahbab. Also, we should not be excessive, meaning going beyond the bounds, to be supposedly, to, to not know, to not have any fiqh in the deen, to know when and where to be brave and when and where to take a more humble uh, position with regards to something. It doesn't always require that you're physical and always require that you're jumping in the forefront in something. Sometimes the, it may be more honorable to keep silent and listen and observe. There may be more wisdom and there may be more rectification in that. So having the wisdom on how to practice these characteristics is also something that we want to strive to have and, and possess and is something from the Sharia. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to have the right balance in all these characteristics that he loves subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.